That is an igloo. In other words, a survival shelter used by Arctic peoples for millennia to protect themselves from freezing snowstorms and animals. And on this channel, as I learn and experiment in all areas, we will try to build one to spend the night in. As you can see, it's far from done. But welcome to this experience. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's early. Uh, not too early, but we went to bed late for the filming. Our guide has arrived. We'll meet him for the first time today. We have just exchanged voice messages, and this guy is so energetic. Hi, my bro, or do I say the machine? You're not ready for this. Morning. Good morning, whoever you may is be. Is it the machine? Ah, how are you? Crazy energy. <laughs> You're Tybalt. Yes, buddy. This is Tybalt, a true ball of energy, a mountain guide who will help us accomplish our mission. Sonia? Correct. Nice to meet hello. you. Hello. Yes, Tybalt, hello. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Go ahead, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm making pancakes oh, for you. Oh, really? Sounds good. Oh, Wait, really? Pancakes too. are coming in coffee, too? <laughs> <laughs> She's an intern, then. Yeah. Yeah. For okay. observation. Yeah. Very nice. Well, we... She's been observing the snowshoe. What? Uh, tennis. <laughs> well, tennis is... Tennis. So yeah. he's yes, a yes, Parisian, tennis. the pure product of Paris. So when you say rackets, he thinks about <laughs> ping pong, ping pong, and tennis. <laughs> yeah. Tennis because I beat him in a video <laughs> recently. I'm not sure if you saw the video anyway. Come on. That's how to make young people hate sports. We have Tybalt and Sonia, who are literally going to take us to hell. In order to send us to hell in the best possible comfort, he even brought us the necessary gear for the expedition. From snowshoes to thermal clothing, including mattresses and even sleeping bags, he is really spoiling us. Many thanks to Sri Lanka for clothing us head to toe. I went to Dekat yesterday and I was like, damn, just socks! And then Tybalt said, don't worry, I'll take care of everything. It's the first time I've had a protein coffee. There are 20 grams of collagen protein in each coffee. Well, I wasn't expecting in every that. one I of thought them. maybe it was some kind of weird thing. It smells thing. good. The real goal of the video is to feel a bit like an Inuit. To see, one, we can build an igloo. Then, how hard is it to build an igloo? What conditions are required? That's why I contacted the best guide in, 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 the in Europe. So I said, listen here, we should build the best igloo in the entire world, no matter what. That's why we're here. Well, we're going to make okay. ourselves a beast. <laughs> so we're packing the bags from Chalunka with all the gear. We're not forgetting the Genshin Impact decorations to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And with these beautiful images, we're heading to Lake Alos. Ladies and gentlemen, on this magnificent new cap from the PMP Butterfly Collection, we've just arrived in Aos. In the middle of nowhere. If I understood correctly, we have a four hour hike with snowshoes. It's going to be a real mess to get up there. Tybalt, why do we have to go so far just to make a damn igloo, man? Because this year, quite simply, there's no snow, so we have to go very high. We're mm. going to go over 2,000 meters to make you a nice igloo. Okay, and how long is the walk? Four hours. Okay, well, wow. 600 meter elevation. So as you can see, we're late. You see, the sun is already quite high, so we're going to try to get up there as quickly as possible. Once we're up there, we're going to have less time than planned to build an igloo. So we're going to rush, and nobody has ever walked on snowshoes, so it's going to be very interesting. The team of the day, the crack team. We have Tybalt with magnificent ice trays to make the igloo. Mrs. Sonia, we also have an exceptional cameraman. Let's see the cameraman's gear, shall we? Okay, the sponsor of the day, because this video is sponsored by Genshin Impact. But we'll talk about that a little later. Thanks, Genshin. And him. And now, check out my Z's gear. Did you see? That's incredible. Yes. So tell me, do you know who I look like? A video game and character. Who, else? who haven't we seen in a while? Uh, the Z. The zebra. The zebra. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty heavy, right? Yeah, about 20 kilos. Wait, is that a guide thing? Uh oh, shh. Be quiet. Though we've had apple juice, Tybalt, we're not... Oops. I've only gone to the sea. What's with this gear? You know what? At least I'm comfortable. Everything's nice, but nothing matches. What do you mean? Don't move, move. What's that? It's the new copy. It's a beanie, a little beanie. Tell me, is it cute or not? I like it. And with Dilu giving up everything to become a model, it's already time for this lovely team to hit the road to spend the night in an igloo that they'll have to build from A to Z. But brother, there's too much stuff it's in this bag heavy, here. It's too heavy, Ah, it's too heavy. Ouch. Ah. Ouch. Tybalt, it's broken. Guys, we're leaving soon. In a minute, someone's exhausted. But I won't say who. In a minute, one of us <laughs> won't be here anymore. I'm not saying who. It's three and a half to four hours of hiking. Okay, it's 11.05. We're two hours late, so less time to build the igloo. We're full of energy to beat up the igloo, and we're going to make the most beautiful igloo on the YouTube game. Good? We wouldn't have seen it. You see... We're here entering the park. 
We stop because we don't know where we're going to build the igloo, because it needs height and a lot of damn snow. Just before entering the park, the idea is to send the drone as a scout to take a brief look at the snowy areas, because if we climb to 2,400 meters and end up with no snow at all, then great. Behind this forest should be some sort of clearing. The idea is to fly over this forest to find the clearing, so we're not in the park. Is Come that... Come on, right there. What you want? Come on. Really? You see, we're gonna go up there and have a look around to see where the most snow is. Less sun, less snow. I believe. We'll get it. How long will it take? Two hours? Three hours? No, much less. 20-30 minutes after that we'll start in the igloo. Yes, it's fantastic. What are you checking right now? We're gonna use these to make igloo bricks. Do you want me to do it so-so? That's the idea! Where are they? Is it this compact? Oh, it's fine. You see? It holds well. Now I need to test the soft snow. Ah, yes. Look at my brick. Not bad. We'll have an igloo in ten minutes. That's the idea. Oh! It hurts! Ow! Mm. He blasted my face. Zebby likes he to do that so back. much. Dude, that hurts! Let Tang guy turn around. No, no! Man, no! Here, revenge! You can hit revenge! Back. Revenge! Oh. You see? It hurts. <laughs> Look at how solid the snowman is. Shall I slide it Throw. down? Avalanche! What? 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 It's solid. The path goes off trail. Look at where we need to go. We've changed our route. Doesn't mean it's less tough. It isn't. It's just, just shorter. It's hot, but magnificent. All right? Yes. The mountain changes you. As we're late, we are changing our plan and opting to climb to a lower altitude. This way, we'll have more time to build the igloo instead of spending four hours hiking to find better snow. Ultimately, this gives us less time and energy for actually constructing the igloo. So we're here right now, but we need to go over there hoping to find snow that's neither too hard nor too soft and with enough depth to find the perfect spot. Even though we saw snow with the drone, there are many factors needed to create a real igloo that will hold up throughout the night. Even though we're not sure what to expect, we're taking the risk. We've just reached the plateau about an hour away. This time, I don't think we could have found a better spot. Not we bad. were afraid we wouldn't get enough snow, but in fact, look how deep we're sinking. My little Parisian. Have we arrived? We're here. Imagine if we walked here for three, four hours. It was a struggle, but it was actually so simple. Oh, it's beautiful. It's stylish, man. We have to put the snowshoes on because it's so deep. There's a place that's not in the Merchant Tour Park. It's just nearby. That's cool because we're allowed to make a fire. We're allowed to take off the drone and, and especially since no one comes here, lots of snow. Goal number one, location. Number two, snowshoes yes. so we don't sink. Objective number three, we're going to try to find the spot with the most snow. And goal number four, after that it's a surprise because you're going to lie down in the snow to okay. determine the size of the igloo. Then it's construction time. Yes, because this igloo, folks, it's not a small igloo for one person. There's a 95 kg dillo, a buddy, and a tangai. We're going to need three rooms. Like in Paris, it'll be worth at least 1,200 euros a month. And for those interested in the experience, I advise you to stay until the end because we do have a surprise for you. We'll send dillo up there as a scout to look for a signal and to search for the deepest spot that he can. Okay, so step two. How deep? Oh, you know, one meter, one meter fifty. Forty-five centimeters isn't bad either. My girlfriend often tells me that the size doesn't matter. How deep are we? Forty-five centimeters in. Like my dick. Step three, check with Tristan because it's sponsored. Thanks to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Genshin Impact is an open-world adventure game with really stylish graphics, available on iOS, PS, and Microsoft. This isn't the first time they've sponsored the channel, and we've seen them in the sailboat videos in the surprise interrogation and with weapons. There are plenty of things that make this game cool, but one point that keeps it lively and always moving forward is its updates. And speaking of updates, they've just released Update 4.4, which offers, among other things, two new characters and a new region to discover. For fans of the game, let me introduce Xian Xianyun. 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 A five-star character, a bit like the standing of our igloo that's being built just behind us, who can simply transform herself into a super badass crane, just like that. Boom! Can I also transform into a crane, please, dear editors? But also gaming, a four-star Lion Dance fan. Anyway, you get the idea. In Genshin Impact, each character has their own story, personality, and powers that make every adventure unique. That's not all. As I said, you also have a new region to discover. So let me introduce you to Chen Yu Vale. Check out these pretty little plants, and these tea plants are so cute. It almost makes you want to go back to the old country. Oh yes, on the other hand, there's also a new legendary monster, the Solitary Suwannee. The kind of big, venerable cat you don't want coming up behind you when you're building an igloo, for example. Anyway, I'll stop spoiling you with the news, but for anyone who's interested, click on the first link in the description to download Genshin Impact and find out about it. Alright, I think lunch is over. It is time... 
to build the igloo. The idea here is just to see if the snow is good, because apparently it's what they called faceted snow from what I understood. So very fine snow. That's why I don't think it holds enough to make blocks. It doesn't stick together. So it's 1.13 p.m. and we haven't started building the igloo yet so far. We've just been scouting for terrain where the snow might not be too bad for making construction bricks. The fourth step, what is it? To lie down. Determine the size of the That's igloo. That's not the point. The point is who sleeps in the middle. I must be on the right side. I can sleep in the middle. I move the least. In the middle, okay? Yeah, because you have the warmth and the one person on the right and the and left. And you've got his dick too, brother. <laughs> you've got double dick. He's going to get spooned. In the middle. I think I'm sold. <laughs> Stop. Where are you going? Yes. Oh, yes. It's going to be cold. It's minus 70 you degrees. See, Dilla wants to stick to me. It's for survival. You're setting boundaries for the igloo, man. Step four. Step four. All done. <laughs> Step five. Compact it. <laughs> Step six, take the bricks and build your igloo. Don't you think we're going to get it? Certainly. If Tristan sleeps on the side, one punch, and he can destroy it. We could die. It'll take time. We've already made the first circle. Yeah. After that, it'll be easier. Yeah, I was about to say it'll that. It'll be wonderful. It's like a child's dream. It's 2 p.m., and despite the snow not being very good for what we need, we put the cameras down and everyone actively participates. For now, the organization is very simple. So So and I are trying to find and make some great snow bricks, while Tangai and Dilu get those snow bricks to Tybalt, who is making the base of our shelter for tonight. The idea is to not just put snow down, but really make some hard blocks from it. For that, we need to find a place where the snow is neither too hard nor too soft, so it is not that simple. This is not quality work. Dare to say that it isn't. It's beautiful. Yes, my friend. It's what we want. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the goal is to make big blocks like this without breaking them. I'll change spots. I'll try here. It's not easy, though. Look at this. Can we talk about this, man? Tibalt, look at this. Tibalt, look at this. Let's go. Take oh, this, yeah? my friend. Nice. <laughs> this isn't easy at all. Not bad. That's look, good. It's like a Minecraft cube. This Let's is go. Good. This is how it is on my side. Now come with me to see the Mason's POV. The snow is lame. Really? This is because there isn't any agglomeration, so it won't stick together. Take it and make a snowball. If we succeed, it means we're the best. This is an igloo made from snow. So lame. It'll collapse on us during the night. If the dome holds, it won't fall. It's falling. Oh no, Tybalt. <laughs> the worst part is that we are struggling with the base, which is supposed to be the easiest part of building an igloo. The hardest being the dome. Due to its bending, we cannot fail. We cannot fail. How's it going, Tybalt? We're making progress, so that already makes me happy. The only thing is that it's still a bit unsteady. We need to consolidate the base. Nice one. Great, Tongish. Yes, your bricks are just perfect. Oh, take <laughs> it. <laughs> he finds a gem. Well done, that guy. Not bad. Dodge. Oh. You have a perfect snowball. Stay calm. Satisfy the urge. <laughs> hey, hey, you son of a no. bitch. No. <laughs> snowball. <laughs> ah. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> right now, you would think it's finally starting to take shape, and I am laying down on something that looks like an igloo, but actually, I am laying down in a piece of shit. The problem is the wider it is, the more complicated to make a dome. We're in a bit of a mess here. We've been working on this igloo for almost two hours, as well as not looking like nothing at all. I can feel everyone's spirits dropping, because between finding the right snow blocks, getting them out of the ground intact, carrying them through the snow on snowshoes, and finally, trying to build your igloo without breaking that same not-so-compact block is pretty hard. The cherry on the cake, since the sun is already disappearing behind the mountain, Tybalt decides to try something and maybe change the whole strategy along the way. With that, we will need a ton of it, Tybalt. Let's break him in half. Oh, no. It's not going to get any worse than this. Oh, not oh, bad. Yeah, this is straight. And now it will be right. great to start the like curving. Like that? Yes, this yes. This is fully compact. Let's go. Right. Take my snowshoes. Wouldn't it have been better... For us to start over again? Start again? We build an igloo there, uh, but with this technique. It's better because the snow is melted and sticky. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to make that one. But the snow here cannot stick. All right, well, let's do this. But it took us two hours to do this. We'll build stronger bases. Yeah, I think quicker. it'll be a lot faster this time. Tristan questions his let's entire life. Let's try it for 30 minutes. It's 2.45. Yes, yeah, yes. Let's try it until 3.15. We won't have time. Yeah, let's start over. Because the base is not sturdy This is enough. a plot twist. What? What do you mean by plot twist? I think we have to try it. Two of us can do it, and one removes it from the mold and passes them. It took two hours to build. Okay. Half an hour. Sure. Tybalt, look. Let me show you something. We'll count the blocks to be sure. One, two, two seven, nine, and then twelve. 
We need 13 blocks to do the entire base. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Fetch the block. I'm definitely ready for it. No, no, don't stop. Don't worry. Just don't break anything. <laughs> I won't break anything. We might come back. Don't worry, bro. Before starting YouTube, I used to make pieces Montes. It's the same structure, I know. Sure. Okay, I'm very sad to leave my igloo. It was starting to look pretty good, but we changed our strategy and we're heading for the sun. We start with a base. We're no longer going to make small bricks that we're going to place in the zone. We'll be using boxes and make real snow bricks, but the sun is already high in the sky. We'll need to hurry up to finish before the sunset. This is clearly the type of moment where I would sit to try the Genshin 4.4 update, which adds plenty of new features and upgrades the gaming experience. But on top of having no network at 2,000 meters altitude, we may not be able to complete the mission. Hey, look. <sighs> it's better. It looks pretty good. Now you can do a round of snowshoeing too. You'll see, snow is a bit like glue. Step number three, outline. Step number four, pack. Step number five, lay the bricks. Step number six, build the door. Step seven, we sleep, but we eat first. It's 3 p.m. and we've just started the second igloo. It's so much smaller, but way sturdier. Yeah, now try lean it a little toward you Okay. More. Okay, and I will start sure, filling okay. gaps. We'll start going straight. All good. The igloo is smaller. Dilo's height will be, uh, it will be, you know what I mean. In 15 minutes, we've already made the base. It took us nearly two hours down there. In fact, Tibalt laid all the blocks around, and my job has been to seal in between. Take it. There. Now it's a pretty snowball. It wasn't like that earlier. Yeah. Perhaps the snow has had time to melt in the sun, so the quality is slightly better, but it does not mean that we're any better. Oh ah! la la, it's a Don't disaster, worry. it's a disaster. Okay. It's not sticking. <laughs> oh no. No. Don't worry, that's normal. But there's a missing chunk. Oh. No! Oh, what crap. I don't agree, Tungi. Yeah, I don't agree with me either. However, I do agree with you, Tungai. I think it was a shitty idea, and there is no way that we'll have a real igloo to sleep in in less than two hours. The sun will set soon, and we are full of doubt. Since it's minus three degrees tonight, and we don't want to freeze to death, we trust our guide remains silent and moves faster. Therefore, we're starting with an entirely new organization. To maximize individual productivity and performance, we decide to assign each other a specific task according to our genius. Since Dilu is a retired pastry chef, we are letting him delicately fill the gaps between the snow blocks so that we can have sturdy snow blocks. <laughs> Since Tengai grew up playing with Legos, he will be the interior architect of the igloo and be responsible for holding the blocks under the supervision of Tybalt, our site supervisor. Soso -so stays at her previous task, and I do what I do best. This means squat and deadlifts. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And some farmers walk to bring those big and sturdy blocks from Dilu to Tangai. Look at this Tetris block over here. Oh my word, it's starting to take shape. I am inside. I'm good here. It's big. I will admit that the lesson of the day is sometimes showing what we want to become. Stronger and harder. What we want. What we are. What we like to become. All right, so so. Yeah, I'm good. We may not realize it, but there are lots of little tricks that make the construction way harder than it looks. For example, if I take the block the wrong way when I lift it, it will break. Or if Dilu didn't pack it well, it can break along the way. Or we simply can stabilize it on top of the other blocks. In short, unlike you might think, it's really teamwork and precision. No, it will start to weaken. I don't see how it's gonna hold. Do you think it fits? Dilu! Sure. Dilu! More, 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 more. You need to curve it more. Nice. We're all pros in our field now. Did you find your job? Yeah, I have a good job. Stop showing your asses to my camera! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Let me take it. That's my job. When someone encroaches on someone else's work, it doesn't work. <laughs> you need to prepare the surface like that. Put a bit more lame snow. It will stick then, but he's coming. Someone asked for a 12 kilo brick? Let's curve a bit. Here, towards you. Do I push more or not? It's all right. Go to a ski resort. Go with your friends and try to do better than our igloo. I challenge you. <laughs> oh. oh, not good. Not Pack good. Pack it, Dilo. No, I'll push it. What? Guys, this isn't curved. It's loose again. Look, look, look. Hey, never. My brick is perfect. You're pissing me off. I will resign. <laughs> the mason is not happy. I would have done at least 80 squats with 12 kilos. Guys, a big one's coming. Let's go, my friend. Already? Let's move on, guys. We're working over here. It's getting harder. They're productive. <laughs> He's doing guy well. Is standing up. Yeah, I'm It'll standing. look like a teepee. You need to curve it, guys. You'll be able to stand in it in the end. It's possible given the way it looks. Come on, I have a block. You have some banana on your face, bro. Don't move. Don't it move. stands on its own. <laughs> ole, ole, ole. It's crazy. <laughs> look at those bricks. 
My pastry chef is 100% my best friend. It's exhausting. I was expecting a nice little video between two PMPs. Something quite chill. Not at all. I do what I do best. Squats and deadlifts. Dill, remember your Paris best pastries? So-so <laughs> is being reminded of burying corpses. <laughs> she used to bury her exes. Use your best skills. And do it with love. What is it? Oh, a no. bit fresh? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! Yes! That's it! Did you break mine? No, 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 no. Don't worry. <laughs> and after two and a half hours of trying hard, the easiest part is now done. So the only part remaining is the hardest, aka the dome. Like, Tengai, I don't see how it can physically it hold, though. You need to stop trying to understand. Until now, we just needed to stack one block on top of the other. As you can see, it was not that easy. But now, we're starting the technical part, where we have to curve it way, way more. Except for Tybalt, though, nobody really understands how a 12-kilogram brick is supposed to even stay curved. How does it hold? There is no way it can stick without glue! It's been two and a half hours, one hour to go before sunset, and now we're on the most technical part, <laughs> meaning building the top without everything collapsing on Tengai. Yes, we are really tired. We feel like taking a short break, but we can because the sun is starting to set, so we need to finish before nightfall. However, Genshin sent me some decorations, so we'll be able to pimp the igloo. It will have style, so as long as it does not collapse. So we are now at the height of Tengai's head. Yeah, it's too fast. It's critical. We need to be careful. You really want to be out here? I'll hold them for you. I can do that. Oh, it's huge! It's so remarkable. It's looking good. Now we need to be precise. Oh, <gasps> I'm nervous. It really needs to hold on like this. I'm going to cover it with snow. Damn, Tangi, it's really helpful back there. You think we didn't enjoy ourselves at 17 in college? It feels like bodybuilding right now. Give it to me. <laughs> good, don't move. This one's better. Don't move. Go. Guys, cover it with snow. My hand is behind you. You can fill it if you want. <sighs> oh, la 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 la. It's good. We're putting the last three down. If those three hold in place, we're done. Don't sell the bear's skin without killing it. <laughs> Don't cluck over eggs that have not yet been laid. Take this carefully. Can you put your finger in there, Tungi? How come? <laughs> It's about two meters tall. Oh, well, maybe we'll stand it in. What's amazing is that the higher it gets, the more solid the structure. It's starting to get taller. I can't do anything now. There? Yes. It's nice. I did a bit here, but it started getting hard. Wait, I'll make some. I'll need big blocks. That's going to be the top. The symbolic piece, isn't it? We're putting the last piece on. Tangi, what does it look like? It's nice. I'm standing up. Does it look sealed from inside? It looks sealed. It's good. Look. Try to make it slip. Yeah, yeah. Push it. A little more. We need to seal it. Stop. That's enough. If you pull, it falls. What are we doing? Okay, 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 we will. Unbelievable. I have another sealing technique. I'll show you what to do. It's cute, but in some civilizations, if you don't have your igloo built, you, you die. You die, brother. We've set a new record. Two hours 30 to build an igloo. That's crazy. You take a stick, you see? Now to round it up. Yes, you draw the lines. No, the lines are already made. Don't leave so soon, because we still need to spend the night inside and decorate. Okay, let's go. I can see the light. Unbelievable. Guys, it's huge. Really? <laughs> this thing is huge. It is huge. from the outside, too. Well done, buddy. Bravo, team. Right, let's go. Bravo to my pastry chef. Bravo, brother. We're gonna have brother. a great night. Tangai the architect. Hello, man. But because the foundations are done, doesn't mean the job is over. Tangai is flattening the inside while we are building the entrance for better air circulation. I think it's starting to take shape. I'm exhausted, guys. Walking plus not eating much, not drinking much, nothing but working, squats and lifting. Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> the last one! Ladies and gentlemen! All right, guys, so no shoes inside. <laughs> Are you proud or not? You're beating all records in two hours 30. That's mine. The height of sexiness. It's my record. Charisma, sexiness, and fastness. We have the whole package. Great, guys. It didn't start well. <laughs> Again, guys. Horrible. Disgusting. But wait, now we need to spend the night in it. Will it break? What do we do? Get in? Just don't fart. It'll destroy the igloo. <laughs> yes, of course. Despite having insulation, it is not <laughs> fartproof. Of course I'll fart. Huh? We'll sleep in it. Of course I'll fart. Just don't. Damn it. Stop it. What do you mean by don't fart? Just fart outside. You know me. Not farting is like not breathing to me. I'll break it. Are we doing this or what? I'll go first. Go ahead. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. We'll see. After two intense hours of packing snow down for Dilu and squats for Buddy, it's time to discover the inside of our igloo. <laughs> it's crazy. The soundproof is really crazy. 
We could do voiceover in it. You can't hear a thing. Man, that's incredible. It's awesome. Come on, buddy. Is there a way to enlarge the entrance? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> wow. It's amazing, Wow, man, right? it's crazy. Wait, it's hard, though. Let me is it large up. enough for Come standing in. up? Stand Wait. up. Oh, oh he's standing. I'm standing. He's standing. Gosh, yes, look. I'm standing. standing? 1.87. Guys, we almost made it to about 1.9. Here is our humble shelter for the night. Not enough decor for my taste. Admit it, it's great. Took us an hour. Good. Thank you to my brothers for sponsoring the video. Look how cool Ayaka is. She's going to watch over us tonight. Okay, gang, it's very, very cold. It's around 7 p.m. and there are so many stars up there. You can't see them, but it's crazy. We can see them in wow. the cam. Yeah, I swear. We just began to put our stuff in the igloo. We will show you how everything goes when building an igloo. Tybalt and Randaboka, what do we do? First, you need to inflate your mattress. Okay. It's a shitty job. I'm bored. Done. Ah, uh, done. We'll sleep well now. Once the mattresses are inflated, we decorate the inside and then welcome our friends. And then we eat since we're hungry. It's not just any dinner we're having. So we're really doing this in an igloo? Yeah. There's way too much smoke. I'm scared. <laughs> the igloo will melt, bro. Please tell me you've done this. Please tell me you've done this before. Nope. There's a first time for everything, right? We're cooking bacon, so there's a lot of smoke. We kind of get the feeling we're all going to die. <laughs> we're not going to die. One out of ten. As soon as we're done eating, we'll get in our sheets. That thing. I can't even remember the name of that thing. Uh, in the... Uh, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. And now I feel like I could get hours of sleep in a yeah, second. Definitely. Just... And it's over. The feeling is crazy. We're actually cooking bacon in an igloo. It, it's, it's incredible. Honestly, I enjoyed myself today. What if it collapses? You're in trouble. It's Chinese New Year soon. And in China, they put beans in the 12th cake like we do. We close the Chinese New Year with the Lantern Festival. And in Genshin Impact, there's a cute reference to the Lantern Festival. In the 4.4 update, you can assist with the Lantern Rite Festival, in which there are plenty of activities such as races in Chenyu Vale Mountain, where you can unlock a four-star character with a lot of gifts and skills for free. If you are interested, it will last until February 26th. So don't hesitate to download the game with the link in the description below. As a reference for Chinese New Year in Genshin, we have 20 lanterns. Everything is biodegradable, it's bamboo. So, it's good for the ecosystem, but we've never lit them before, so we have no clue what's going to happen. I've only seen that in movies, never in real life. I'm super curious about it, actually. At the moment, we're a few days away from Chinese New Year, and we are in festivity mode. For the lanterns, the main idea was supposed to look like that, but with the cold and with the experiences that we had, we needed several tries just to throw it properly. Come on! Go, go, go. Hey, what? Go. Good, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect, perfect. We stayed far from the trees, we checked the wind direction, and we've done it. It took us flight. All's well that ends well. All right, I suggest we go to sleep in the igloo. It was beautiful to see it fly, huh? Yes, it was. Chulanka took good care of us. The last sleeping bag I ever bought was in Dukat for 15 bucks. 15 bucks? No, 25. This one's 430 euros, bro. Wow. Guys, if we don't spend nights hooking up with this thing, then I don't know. <laughs> wow. To be honest with you, it's not exactly maximum comfort in an igloo, whether the hardness of the ground, the overall temperature, or simply the space we had. But considering the day we've had, it doesn't take much to be happy. So bye. <laughs> So bye. So bye. So bye. Oh, you look good, you bastard. So bye. Oh, you look so good. It's too hot. I'm going to sleep you naked. You look good. <laughs> oh, no. Give me some space, bro. No, this is my side. I enjoy sleeping here more. For now, everything is fine. Everyone is laughing. When it's around 3 or 4 a.m. with the cold from the ground and it being negative 5 degrees outside. What are you doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just a bit. Perfect. It's a good night. Ciao. Ciao. Eight hours later. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's 8.40 a.m. We had a rather unpleasant night. A little cold. Well, more like a lot. Hi, Tengai. Uh, How are you? Horrible. Horrible? Oh, uh, yes. Horrible. We agree. I'm in pain. So much pain. But you managed to close your cocoon. Yes. I was completely oh, no. open from here to there. It all came oh, in. No. I had ice in my feet. Oh, poor Tengai. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks to Genshin Impact, it was fantastic. It triggered all of my joint pain. Mm -hmm. I see he had the best sleeping bag. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. As usual, the otter has <laughs> <laughs> just been born. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. 
Uh, I slept well. What do you mean you slept well? Good morning, buddy. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Oh, stop. You look sleepy, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> Well, it had more charm yesterday, but isn't it cute? The Guardian watched over us last night. Eee. Did I mention that we have a surprise for you? Here it is. All right, guys, we're leaving the igloo, as it is. So if you come take your pictures, spend a cozy night inside. Make sure to bring good sleeping bags. I must admit it was quite an experience to sleep in there. Yeah. One of the best nights of my life. In the cold. You're a seal. You don't feel the cold, bro. Well, another item checked from the list. We definitely won't become Inuits, but at least we experienced it for one night. All right, ciao. Bye. Ciao. Great thanks to Genshin Impact for supporting our concept. For those who are interested, feel free to check out the 4.4 update with the first link in the description. Peace.